everyone welcome to my youtube channel love for intuitive astrology today i will talk about the month of february 2021 for the sign of libra so if you have your sun your moon or your rising sign in libra then please keep watching this video as well before we start with the reading i just want to let you know that i'm giving a free uh, astrology intuitive reading away for one hour how can you win this subscribe to my channel leave a comment with win a reading and whatever else you want to tell me you want to tell your fellow libra sign <laughs> and you know you have a chance of winning and also if you already subscribe don't worry i also pick on the comments so thank you so much for all your support up until now i'm super grateful and let's see what's going on for you libra in the month of february because this is a really exciting month you've been going through so much uh hardship you've been going through so many changes you had to restructure your whole internal process and now it's time to explore romance creativity everything related to children maybe you you will get pregnant in the upcoming month <laughs> get a baby or you know this is for the ones who want to have children of course this is also about self-expression this is about um exploring your own inner creative creativity and with aquarius in the fifth house you definitely are someone that's really good at anything online so you could be a good photographer for example like anything technical uh, online design you know anything that has to do with aquarian uh, traits is something you will explore so just be creative um, make everything beautiful and you know maybe yeah start dancing and let the flow let it flow and your creativity will run much faster because it's like you almost didn't have time before for creativity because you were so busy maybe you're moving maybe you moved in with someone maybe you moved from a to b whatever it is that you did redecorating your place it's time to explore now self-expression and uh this is very positive however on this new moon on the 11th of february in aquarius we have this whole bunch in your fifth house squaring mars in the eighth house so what is happening is that um there might be something that's distracting you um from this creativity i'm so sorry but there might be someone uh, a disease uh, in your family like someone died or this has to do with intimacy it could be that uh, in the past you let yourself run by your sexuality and you know that's why sometimes you didn't have the time to explore what is romance to you you know before you were like oh yeah i just want to have passion i want to go around and now it's like no i want to explore romance i want to explore my creativity um i want to get to know who you know you want to focus on your kids and these are really like extreme subjects i know but you know mars is in the eighth house of dead intimacy sexuality uh, transformation so you're really transforming the way you see your romance the creativity and creativity of course it's related to children is the original house of leo and create who are more creative than children so definitely you could learn from children around you you could learn from you know any of that and um then we have a full moon in virgo uh, this is happening on the 27th of February and Virgo for you is in your 12th house. So definitely this is maybe you're doing some free artwork, some free service for uh, the greater good. Maybe you're publishing something for free, some free book to read, some, you know, um, definitely people with Aquarius in the fifth house. They can also be great writers. So uh, you're doing some kind of service or maybe it's a new extra job that you're doing on the side that you know will make you money. So this is something that might arrive into your life and it will help you increase your creativity 
and you're discovering skills and traits that you didn't know you had before. So this is super exciting. And you know, you have the North Node in the ninth house. And during this new moon, we have all the planets are trining the North Node. So you're releasing your South Node stuff. This is Mars who triggers this within you. And then it's giving you, a di you're having a different faith in yourself. Uh, you're going to be more in integrity with who you are. You have a more connection with your higher purpose. You might discover new religion, new spiritual groups. And uh, it's time to like not only understand what it means to uh, see the world as one, <laughs> to know about cultures. It's just being it, being in connection with yourself, being this... Um, in this complete alignment you know and uh we have this uh, during this full moon as well there's a lot related on your routines uh especially with your pisces in the sixth house it's sometimes really hard for you to be in routines and to take care of your health because you know pisces just slips through so it's like mm, my health yeah i can just eat whatever <laughs> so it's really important to focus on health and to focus on your routines and walk away from dishonest uh, associations okay so uh, there could be that you've been in a toxic relationship and it's time to walk away from it this could have to do with a toxic job so there is still something that you have to release you have to let go something that's not worth the effort there might be someone chasing you that's like this person has nothing to offer this might be a friend who has something to offer and who doesn't you know uh, and then i see open your heart to love but i also see this is an opening to love of course love romance creativity um, this is a happy time. This is you exploring yourself. This is you exploring what your talents are. And, you know, I see that most of it you're going to do alone. But it's like I see loving time, romance. I see <laughs> self-love. It's going to be amazing. You know, the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is turning. It's time for you to... <sighs> Oof. I need to breathe like that so it's time for you to release oh you had so much stuck in your body it's almost like oh you need to let go of all these things that have been holding you back you know I, I see number 10 which is basically number one to me it's time for new beginnings and uh, you've been waiting for this a long time Libra you've been waiting for this a long time uh, reward yourself for all your hard work but I see this literally as pamper yourself relax have a nice bath you know, like relax, whew, calm down. This is what you need. You need to embrace uh, the calm within you and to do the things you want to do. I'm getting learning experience, reward. Look at that, Libra, miracle. Wow, learning experience. So everything that you had to go through was really for you to learn, you know, to learn what it is to be in a relationship or to learn what it is to be single, to learn what it is to be um, not appreciated for who you are. And now you are appreciating yourself. You're like, I'm better than ever. I'm going to just create. I'm going to be out there. Miracle and heaven is watching over you. I see just good, really good times for you. I just really have this really nice feeling, this happy feeling, that thing. You know, I always want to hug you and say things are going to be all right. Because I feel that for a while, you thought that this wasn't something that was going to happen to you. It was like you had so much stress. You had so many changes. Um, not necessarily changes you wished to happen. So yeah wow yeah express your love i'm getting let go of control issues calling your soulmate mm. so this is for the single libras it is safe for you to love you know you almost doubt it should i trust someone again should i let someone else in and you're trying to control it that's why like you're trying to control to see who you can trust and you can trust you can literally let go of your control just observe 
express your love, but I feel it's, you're in a safe zone. You learned so much in the past times what, what it is that you want and what you don't want. Calling in your soulmate. So single Libras, definitely there's a great time to call in your soulmate, but also a great time to enjoy romance, picnics outside, everything romantic, to date. Um, even if you're in a relationship, organize some nice activities. It's just everything is beautiful in the month of February. I can't say you any tell you anything else, you know. Just a reminder, Mercury retrograde, don't sign any contracts, don't buy new electronics. And that's it. I, that's all I have to say to you, Libra. It's going to be nice and you deserve it so much. You deserve it so much because you have, you have been through some tough times. So this is my message for you. If you um, want to participate in a free reading uh, that I'm going to give away, uh, win a reading with a comment. And also subscribe to my channel. I really hope to see you soon, soon, soon again, Libra. All the best to you. Bye-bye.